So I've been going through a new sort of series of videos and of course covered the graphical interface for Nine Front and Plan 9, which is Rio. And um, Rio always generates a lot of kind of strong opinions, both for and against. Uh, the developers of uh, Plan 9 wanted an interface that was like extremely simple, uh, no clutter, no distractions, you know, no window decorations, no icons all over the desktop, nice muted colors, and that's what you get. Uh, but of course, you know, this is developed back in the 90s. In that time, there's been just a ton of stuff done with user interfaces, and people are used to a variety of things. So they want to know, is there some alternative to um, Rio? And one, of course, is that you can technically run just Acme if you want, like, you know, the, the tiled window look. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't run any sort of graphics in the windows. You can just do text. Um, and in this video here, I'll talk about a alternative that someone is working on. And that would be Lola. So Lola is by a nine front user AAP. I don't know how that's pronounced, maybe op. Um, and it is basically in, uh, an alternative to uh, Rio. It behaves a lot like it. It's not an exact copy. And they did add some things uh, like title bars and some other little things. So I'll be testing that out now. So I'll go ahead and make this... Uh, this particular window big just to fill up the whole screen since I'm technically running Rio underneath. And the first one is just the uh, the simple theme. And you open it up and you know you get greeted with a plain gray space. But you get little menu bars and you get little widgets in the corners too. So you can do things like maximize you know, return to size, the minimize, basically just uses the same sort of hide function that Rio has. Um, and you get some of the same menus and it works largely the same. So you also have things like it won't scroll automatically. That's something that can be set. Some of that's hidden in a different menu. So um, there's the uh, right button here. And there's also, you hold down button one, or the left button and the right button, button three, and then you have options like that. And so that should turn on scrolling, if I remember right. So let's try that again. Uh, and 9P. Oops. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it'll do it in a new window. This is a work in progress, so it's not like done. Oh, there it goes. The new window's now picked up the scrolling. So it's a little rough around the edges still, but it is sort of a demonstration that this uh, basically, you know, you can make alternatives to Rio. Um, you know, what makes it kind of plan nine is that it's, uh, exposes itself as a file system and this does too so i can go into vsys 3 get the same sort of information like you'd get from uh rio i could hide the window oops i can bring it back and i can read that through the file system Uh, one of the other things is uh, they added a couple different abilities. Um, let's go ahead and exit out. Um, some of them you do at compile time, so you can make it look like there's a setting in there to make it look like Windows 3. So now when you make a window, you get that kind of classic Windows 3 look. So you have some abilities like that, like the... Back in Windows 3, you'd sort of double-click that one. It normally brought up a button. If you double-clicked it, you could close a window. So, but yeah, you get the, the maximize, the return, the minimize, which does hide. 
can bring it back. And it also has that middle button to exit. Uh, there's also a Windows 95 look. So this one also has the uh, exit button in the corner. I'll go back to the simple one because there is also a, um, a little bit of theming. So again, kind of rough around the edges. Uh, if I was going to set this up, it would be out of here. Nope. If I was going to set this up, I'd probably have something closer to like a, you know, a file interface where you dump in a, uh, uh, some text and then have the theme hit. But this one runs a little program to inject that in. So if I cat something like Maya, uh, I get back, you know, number values for various things. And the way this theme thing works, which, go back to the browser real quick. Uh, they have a link or information on that down at the bottom, and uh, that goes to here. It has some nice little uh, demonstrations of what the color schemes look like. So you can even get some sort of like dark themes if you prefer that, if it's easier on the eyes. Um, some stuff that definitely is not easy on the eyes. So let's try one of the themes. So I'll go and uh, let's see, run set theme. And we'll do, I like the Maya, it looks pretty nice. So you put that in, and then right now you have to manually refresh, but at least there's a button on the screen to do that. And it rereads everything and puts it in. So get some nice little colors in there. Do I go really old school? You can even make it look like an old amber terminal. So yeah, there's a, uh, for all those people asking, do, do I have to use Rio? Uh, not exactly. Um, you can make alternatives. Again, the, the Plan 9 system is very modular. Uh, as long as you can open and read and write the files, you can make the system do kind of whatever you want. Uh, let's try something trickier here. Let's see, this will definitely clash with uh, the amber look. Let's see, I want to bring up files, gate, and gate, and little router. Oh, there we go. Got a nice built-in pastels still in the other programs. I just run this back here again. So let's see. I don't know if this will have, yep, still has the middle click menu. And refresh. That's much nicer looking. But anyway, so if you are interested in an alternative to Rio, uh, such things are possible. Um, again, this is kind of cooked up by one guy. Um, it's, like I said, still a work in progress. We go back to the browser here. You can see what they've been working on in the log. So yep, it's getting pretty, it was getting pretty regular updates until like a month ago. But yeah, if you're interested in trying out a different interface and working on it, um, I'm sure patches are welcome. And as always, have fun.